Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I do appreciate it. And today we are going to talk about my top five Disney Pixar movies. Yeah, that's like my favorite thing to talk about since, you know, I heart Disney. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I thought I'd give you guys my top five because The Incredibles is coming out June 16th. So I figure, why not just throw in my top five Disney Pixar movies? Why not? I'm sure you guys want to know. So I'm going to just give y'all that too, okay? <laughs> All right, let's begin. I'm excited, yeah. <laughs> Number five, The Incredibles. <laughs> um, the Incredibles came out in 2004, so it's about superheroes this superheroes that used to kick ass and take names and you know especially towards the villains um they ended up having to live an ordinary life because of an incident that took place with mr incredible which i don't believe it's mr incredible's fault i still don't believe it's mr incredible's fault but still you know what I'm saying? Um, he ends up marrying Elastic Girl, which I, she's very flexible. Okay, I can learn something from her. <laughs> and they end up having a family. Um, they have a daughter named Violet, a son named Dash, and of course my little favorite Jack Jack. <laughs> so they all have powers, and they pretty much Mr. Credible goes off on a secret mission to um to supposedly fight some type of robot and of course the villain is actually a kid that looked up to mr incredible so he, he ended up messing up their world whatever but um Elastigirl had to find out where her husband was going every day. I mean, Mr. Incredible was slimming down, looking good. And I was like, oh, okay, Mr. Incredible, where you going? <laughs> but anywho, <laughs> I enjoyed this movie. Um, I was, when did this movie come out in 2004? I was young. I don't want to say how old I was. But I was young when that movie came out. I was actually in high school yeah I was in high school but um, you know I'm definitely going to check out Incredibles 2 this next weekend yeah the June I'm gonna say I'm gonna check it out June 17th you know what I'm saying I'm gonna go on a weekend because I work Monday through Friday so I'll have to check this movie out but I'm saying though I, I really, I'm, I'm excited to see number two. I, I want to see more of Jack-Jack more than anything because he's so cute. <laughs> I love Jack-Jack. Especially that poor babysitter toward the end of freaking The Incredibles. She's like, um, I don't know what's going on with this baby here. Um, I need some assistance. <laughs> I feel bad for that babysitter. She kept calling. <laughs> she kept calling. <laughs> She just kept calling Jack Jack's mom, like, um, I need your help, Mrs. Parr. Uh, Jack Jack seems to be going everywhere. He's getting into stuff. I, uh, <laughs> I look forward to seeing Jack Jack, okay? He, he, I'm gonna say he's my favorite. And you know what? I liked all the kids. I liked Violet because, you know, Invisible Girl, like, she was just learning how to cope with her powers and you know she's the shy and shy and timid type of girl and she's like uh you know and i, I really liked her and dash y'all understand why he's got that name he's so quick and his ego is just this kid man <laughs> he's something else his ego needs to calm down but he's a cool kid though he's a cool kid but yeah jack jack is i, I look forward into seeing Jack Jack more than anybody. Sorry, Mr. Incredible and Elastigirl. Uh, I like 
the fact with the whole Elastigirl being in charge of, you know, for The Incredibles 2, but I felt like it was built on Mr. Incredible and it was about Mr. Incredible's story, which I was just like, they should have just did a tag team, you know what I'm saying? I understand about the whole women empowerment and all of that. That's cool and all, but I felt like it should have been still about Mr. Incredible. And, you know, he can have his family join in and help him out and stuff, but like, I, I guess I'm gonna have to roll with this. I'm gonna have to roll with this. Though, I, I am for Elastigirl, don't get me wrong, but I'm more looking forward into the kids. A lot of kids, especially Jack Jack. <laughs> but that's my number five Disney Pixar movie of my favorite, because I mean, I like that movie. And I can't wait to see it next week. Moving on, number four, okay? It's going to be Inside Out, okay? Now it's about this girl named Riley, and she ends up, um, she's, how old is she in the movie? She's 11 years old, and her parents are up and moving to San Francisco. So her emotions inside of her mind come to life. There's joy, there's sadness, there's fear, there's anger, and then there's disgust. My favorite two, I'm going to have to say, was joy and disgust. <laughs> Though I like sadness because, you know, I can be emotional too. And I can relate to some of sadness. But I like joy and disgust is, <laughs> disgust is sassy, okay? Yeah, I love it. I, I'm going to have to say disgust was nice, okay? For me. But sadness, I related to sadness more than disgust. I do have my disgusting girl type of mood, but it's like, eh, yeah, girl, no. But anyway, and, um, she's trying to, she's just an 11-year-old girl who's trying to, she's trying to get used to life. She's just trying to get used to life in general, difficult situations with her moving away from her friends and everything, so her emotions come in to drive, and, I mean, uh, it didn't bring me to tears it just brought me like how it just brought me when i was a kid when i was eight years old when i was going to, um, through the foster care system and stuff so seeing the emotions come out on film was like oh okay so these are your emotions this is what goes on in your mind Ah, uh, okay. But seeing it in real life, it was just like dope. But yeah, uh, sadness and uh, freaking joy, they get left somewhere way in the back of uh, Riley's mind. And they're trying to figure out how to get back into, you know, the front of her mind so they can all work together and try to understand um, Riley and try to get her to be, you know, happy again. But it's just basically an 11 year old girl who was trying to figure out life, which we all are. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it of that movie. But I put it for number four because it's, it's very interesting. And we all can relate to this movie. We're trying to figure out what, what brings us happiness. Why are we sad? You know? Why are we angry? I even like the fear, even though fear was just way too much. I, I, I was having panic attacks watching fear. Cause I was like, yeah, I can't watch fear cause he making me scary. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's just, it's the reality. It's based on real life though, through an 11 year, girl, 11 year old girl's mind. And that's why I put Inside Out for number four as my um, Disney, Pixar movie of mine. Um, I think you guys really need to check it out, especially the kids. I know I try to get my niece to watch it, but she's more into like musicals and stuff. <laughs> my, my niece is 13 years old, so 
she's like why do i don't want to watch that that's not cool auntie donna i'm just like well excuse me you know what i'm saying i just thought it'd be a nice movie for us to check out now inside out came out in um 2015 by the way i forgot to mention that all the way when i introduced inside out <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> just thought you guys should know. But that's number four on my list. All right. So now we are going to number three. That movie is going to be Up. Okay. Up. Now, I had some tears in this movie. I'm not going to lie. When Carl and ellie his wife passed away oh my gosh i was all in my feelings i was just like oh. you know and when she couldn't have kids it oh. i i just couldn't i i man i was just so i was so sad when wait the beginning when they meet too it's so adorable <laughs> her little red hair <laughs> and just I loved Ellie. She's so free spirited, and Carl is just so reserved. Like, what is she doing? Like, why did she climb up my window just to <laughs> get to see me in my room? But anyway, it's a cute story. Anyway, I'm I'm all over the place because I'm thinking of which parts I liked in the movie. I'm sorry for that, guys. That's why I write my stuff down. <laughs> but um. Anywho, some they something happens to Carl where they, I guess they're trying to take his house away because you know they want to build buildings and apartments and all that. And Carl, you know, he wasn't having it, so you know they ended up calling the cops and whatnot. And they want him to be in a nursery home, which what? That's my house. I built that house. I ain't going nowhere. I feel the same way as Carl. I would not be going anywhere. No. Nah, you're not taking me out of my house. I don't care how crazy I am. Straight up. <laughs> so Carl gets the idea. You know, he wants to go to the... <sighs> Where do they want to go when they were younger? Uh, South American wilderness or something like that. And freaking... um. He gets this plan of all these balloons, which I really want to know how he... I know it's a Pixar movie, but I really want to know how long it took him to blow up all them balloons. Like, with me, it probably would have deflated in like, I'd say a couple hours or so. But, I'm just saying, it is a Pixar movie, so... <laughs> I'm really thinking, though. And he ends up flying off with them damn balloons in the house come to find out <laughs> Russell <laughs> he's so cute and chunky he's a little boy scout he was just trying to get uh, <laughs> Carl so you know <laughs> I would like to say buy boy scouts cookies but no that's not what it was <laughs> you know just to take him out and go on a trip and stuff so poor Russell, he's stuck on the on the porch, and Carl's like, "What is that noise?" And he's already out in the air. Okay, he's already ready to go. He's already going. And Russell's like, "Uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, Mr. Frederson, um, <laughs> he remind me of Dennis the Menace, but he was just Asian and chunky and cute." <laughs> Every time he said Carl, I was thinking about Dennis the Menace. I don't know why, but it just came to mind to me. But, um, yeah. So they go to the, you know, South American, whatever. And, um, this is where the fun and adventure begins. Adventure is out there! <laughs> they find this rare bird I don't know, it looked like one of those dodo birds, but I can't explain it. It's a weird bird, and uh, there's already somebody there, an older guy there. Um, I guess they called him a liar on earth or whatever. 
and he just was been trying to catch this bird to get take back to you know to tell everybody that he was telling the truth about this damn bird that it does exist anywho then you meet doug <laughs> this cute golden retriever <laughs> and he could talk i i want that i want that necklace so i can give it to cuddles because i really want him to talk to me y'all don't understand pets they 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 talk but you know when i ask cuddles if he's hungry or something he'll meow at me i'll meow back you know what i'm saying it's that's what it is <laughs> But I would really like that necklace to hear what he has to say about me. Because he's probably like, uh-uh, no. Nah. Y'all don't, don't want nothing to do with her. She's too crazy. I ain't got time for her. <laughs> and he, he's very affectionate, too. That's what I like about Cuddles. He's very affectionate when he wants to be. But anyway, I'm sorry. I just started talking about my cat Cuddles. He's, it, it just makes sense that I will. But anyway, like I said, I want that collar. So if Disney Pixar can hook that up for me. It'd be dope. I saw a video where um, they made it like real life. They had a golden retriever and they had a necklace for a golden retriever. And though, you know, the dog really can't talk, but they made it so that the dog can talk. I, I gotta find that video to show you guys, but it was an awesome video. Everybody's like, oh, that's Doug. Like the little kids already knew who he was because he was saying, squirrel. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Doug reminds me of me sometimes. But I don't think about squirrels. It's more like unicorns and Disney and like just random stuff. Because I'm just like that sometimes. But yeah, uh, like I said, they go on an adventure. Uh, them old men can fight. <laughs> I thought it was pretty weird. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and I can't forget about the cone of shame. You don't want to have the cone of shame, okay? <laughs> you don't. Poor Doug was in that. And I felt so bad. I was so upset. I'm like, my poor dog. Y'all got Doug in there. Like, what the hell? He doesn't want to be the cone of shame. All embarrassing and stuff. Anyhow. But Ellie, she made, before she died, she made a book. It's called The Adventure Book. She wanted Carl basically to go out on adventures, live his life, have fun. Life is too short. Her, her basically, her adventure was with him. That, I'm about to tear up right now. That right there was so emotional. I was, I started to tear up. I was like, oh my gosh, that is, it just sucked when she passed away. But I understand the point of the fact that they had to do it that way. But then, um, yeah, Carl and Russell, they ended up being BFFs and, you know, Doug, Doug, <laughs> y'all don't mind me, uh, Doug ended up having puppies and, you know, Carl was actually living his life. So, I enjoyed that movie. That's why that movie is number three on my list. You guys definitely gotta check out that Disney Pixar animation because, oh my gosh. Ugh. I was all in my feelings with that movie. Okay? Okay. Now, we are going on to number two. <sighs> number two, number two. Number two. Toy Story. Duh. Who don't like Toy Story? Who? If you don't like Toy Story, you, you, you something else. Okay? Now, the first Toy Story came out in 1995. The voice actor to Woody, the cowboy, is Tom Hanks. I have to say my favorite character was Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> Tim Allen was the voice <laughs> casting for him. I don't know, like, Toy Story, it's that movie. It gives you, it, it just wonders how your toys are. Like, when you are gone, and they're like talking and speaking and like you don't even know that's kind of freaky and scary at the same time but toy story man <laughs> it's basically about you know about the toys coming to life and their um owner name is andy woody he's like he's the head boss 
let's put it that way he's the sheriff in charge of all the toys okay and um andy's birthday's coming up he's getting older of course he wants the coolest toys out there that'd be me i i do that too but anywho and this new toy buzz lightyear comes between andy and woody so you know oh Woody ain't having that. Woody's like, uh-uh, no. Andy is mine. He's my human. How dare you? How dare you? So Woody makes up a, a plan and, <laughs> and Buzz. I'm sorry, Buzz is thinking he, he needs to, he's on a mission. He has to get home. He has to go to his home planet, okay? And Buzz is really playing into it. He really believes he's a spaceman. And that, that's probably why I like Buzz so much. Because he was just so oblivious. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He he was just thinking like, yeah, no, I'm a real spaceman. I have to get home. You know? I, my world's in, my planet's in, like, in danger. I need to go. <laughs> and Woody's just like, what? You are just a toy. What are you talking about? You are a plaything. <laughs> and Buzz is like, you're mocking me, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love Toy Story, okay? Toy Story. And then, of course, my song, You Got a Friend in Me. <laughs> you Got a Friend in Me. Oh, I love that song, you know? Oh. And it just, it just gave me, it just gave me the feels. I, I, but I'm off a of Buzz Lightyear, though. Straight up. <laughs> I remember I got into Snapchat and something came up about Woody and Buzz Lightyear and I said I put Buzz Lightyear and somebody was like why not Woody? Woody's the heart. Woody you gotta watch out for Woody. If you take his owner he gets jealous. He tries to kill you. Uh not Buzz Lightyear. Though I like the fact that they're best friends now. You know what I'm saying? Through thick and thin. Through toys and all you know what I'm saying <laughs> but still yet Buzz Lightyear is that dude for me I mean leave in your comments on who do you prefer and why do you prefer Woody or Buzz Lightyear please let me know below okay <laughs> like I said I, I mean I, I really want to know your opinions on who's your favorite toy is it Woody or Buzz Lightyear my I pick Buzz Lightyear he's a cool toy um, he's never betrayed Woody in that kind of manner. He never tried to kill him, okay? So, <laughs> what y'all got? <laughs> I want to hear. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and then, um, pretty much when Woody knocks Buzz Lightyear out the window by accident, okay? Uh... They get lost. You know, I like that part when, uh, too, when, uh, Buzz punched Woody in the face. <laughs> I thought it was dope. I like that part. So, they go out on an adventure, too, trying to get back to Andy's room. But <laughs> they end up at Pizza Planet, which I really, I really gotta go to Disney World, okay? I heard they got something like that there. I really just gotta go. I just need to go to Disney World. I gotta start saving my money and just take up everything and just go out. Man, who? Um, they go to Pizza Planet. They get stuck in that machine and the little aliens. Ooh. And Buzz Lightyear is like, how do I get out of here? The claw. And you're like, oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, the claw. You have been chosen. <laughs> I love the millions, okay? <laughs> but, yo, Sid, he's a crazy, deranged, psychotic kid who doesn't take care of his toys. He blows them up and he does some harmful things to his toys. Oh, man. I, I was scared for the toys myself. I was like, oh, yeah, no, y'all don't want to be next door with Sid. Sid's crazy. Sid's a crazy, crazy kid. He didn't take care of his, any of his toys. That's just, he, he, he was evil. He was evil. He was an evil kid. But anywho, 
they end up escaping buzz finally comes to his senses and realizing that he is just a toy <laughs> so he had to go through some some hard hard trouble you know what i'm saying excuse me guys and what he had to like literally reassure him that you know you you still that dude you you still good they end up escaping and they finally end up back with andy oh, it's a good movie um if you check that out you gotta check out toy story 2 and toy story 3 now toy story 3 had me in tears too the ending i got all emotional and he's gone to college and he Disney freaking Disney Pixar movies makes me cry all makes me cry all the time and he ends up giving it up giving Woody and Buzz Lightyear to this cute little girl named Bonnie <laughs> so yeah um Toy Story is number two on my list for sure for sure and uh I can't wait I'm ready to see two, Toy Story 4 like I cannot wait I'll be I'll be in the theater probably with some kids Hopefully, them kids are going to behave. Because, you know, kids nowadays, they don't know how to act in a movie theater. So, I will be there watching Toy Story 4. That's for sure. But moving on along. My number one pick for Disney Pixar movies. I just recently watched this one. And, of course, it brought me to tears as well. So, number one is me. Uh, this is my song. To say goodbye, remember me. Uh, don't let it make you cry. For even if I'm far away, I hold you in my heart. I sing a secret song to you Each night we are apart Remember me Oh, definitely Coco, okay? Coco had me in my feelings Especially with that song Oh, man Now Coco came out in 2017 Okay? It's about this kid named Miguel. He loves music. It's all he dreams and breathes and thinks about is music. Um, but his family is against it, per se. Okay. Um, but it all started back with his um, his ancestors on why they don't allow music in the, in the house. So. Miguel ends up finding this guitar that belongs to his idol, Ernesto Del La Cruz. He ends up <laughs> trying to steal <laughs> the guitar. And once he played it, he was at in the world of the land of the dead. Okay. And that's where his journey begins as well. Then he finds out what really happened and why the family doesn't like you know to play or do any, or have anything done with music it's this movie the reason why it's number one because it's all about family okay i'm always big when it comes to my family and i'm very protective when it comes to my family even if I don't see them or talk to them or I'm around them, I'm I'm always, best to believe, I'm always around when it comes to my family, okay? This right here, Coco, reminded me. See, I'm getting all teared up and stuff about family. <laughs> it's just, it's pretty much just about family and letting him be who he wants to be when he grows up he likes music let that kid play music i'm i was into music when i was young but i was i was in the chorus i always loved to sing so i'm 
sorry, excuse me guys. I'm all in my feelings when it comes to Coco, this movie. And that's why it is my number one. But, you know, I'm... Coco is just... He's just a cute, adorable kid. That animation was dope, too. Oh, they got every detail. Every, it's so colorful. So colorful. Oh, my gosh. I... I was looking at all them colors. I was just like, oh my gosh, this thing is so bright. And it was it was well educated. Like, it, I just really love Coco. This is my number one Pixar Disney movie. I want to say of all time. I, because I literally was feeling how this kid was. Like, you know, like. He wants to be a musician. He wants to go out and figure out why his family don't want to have nothing to do with music. He just, you know, wants to sing and dance and enjoy life. And when it came down to the reason why his family was against it and he realized it, it was just, it was so breathtaking. So, but... I really enjoyed this movie. I advise you guys to watch this movie. It's it's a beautiful story. And I I enjoy it. I enjoy watching this movie. Um I actually bought it. <laughs> I had to buy it. I had to buy the movie. I had to buy the movie. I had to put I had to download the song in my phone because that's what it is. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my top five Disney Pixar movies. All five of them are our favorites, but number one takes the cake out of all of them. Coco, you got my respect and you got that. So, um, please like and subscribe to my channel. And what are your thoughts? What are you guys' top five Disney Pixar movies? I really would like to know so comment below and let me know how you guys feel about my top five and let me know about you guys is okay um, again thanks for stopping by and viewing my channel I appreciate it and I'll see you guys later bye